Welcome back to Shem's Universe. So today, guys, we're going to discuss birth number 26. So that's the last of the eight series for birth numbers, so very exciting. Um, so we have the number 26 consisting of number two, which is the moon energy, number six, which is Venus, and then you have, obviously, it adds to number eight, which is our Saturn. So um, it is the best luck eight number in regards to easiness of life because of the six. It balances the eight life out and gives you some luxuries and some other benefits as well. Mentally, it can lead to you being a little bit lethargic um, just because the six tends to be lazy. Um, they tend not to want to put much effort into things. They just want to get things. That's the only thing is they want to just receive without much work. That does not work for the eight. The eight is all about hard work and repetitive consistency, doing the same thing every single day until you get what you want. The number two may lead to that emotional volatility that leads to depression. So that's something else to watch out for. Um, this is a very simple number, though, for me to deconstruct and tell you what to do with it. What you simply need to do is this. If you're born the 26, understand that your emotions are going to try to get in your way. Just like anybody else that's born the 20 series. From 20 to 29, you're going to have to deal with some emotional volatility because of the moon. Also, number six, you're going to have to look at that and realize, yes, you want the luxury things in life. And yes, you have good luck in getting easy money. But use that good luck in getting easy money by putting in hard work. Just because you have good luck, put in hard work so your luck gets enhanced. You can enhance your luck by just going hard at everything that you do actually putting in that work putting in that effort every single day just like i'm on youtube every single day putting in work that's what you want to do put in the work every single day and the eight is going to give you its power the eight is going to resurrect your spirit and give you the power to actually overcome all obstacles the eight gives you strength through challenges through hurdles through what seems to be a misfortune but that misfortune is actually a blessing it's giving you the power that you need to overcome obstacles in the future and hardening your heart so that when things happen to you in the future that would challenge the ordinary person, it doesn't actually challenge you. So once you comprehend and understand that and really take that to heart and then embody the principles that I'm telling you, your life is going to get a lot better and a lot easier. If you're born on the 26, I'd recommend a career in business management, administrative work like human resources, um, accounting, um, I'm trying to think of anything else, like even being a technician, things that require detailed analysis. Because you have the six there as well, there's a very good chance you could be good in like any sort of arts, even martial arts, and also be good in things such as like uh, scalping. Um, I wouldn't really say writing, but I would say like music, it's particularly music. Anything to do with surrounding the music industry can be very, very beneficial for people born the 26th. There's also, like I said, I said martial arts because people like Jet Li were born on April 26th, for instance. So with that hard work plus the good luck, you can achieve name and fame and actually get what you want out of life. This is another one of one of the easiest numbers I would say to actually deconstruct and break down. My video is going to be very short today, guys, just because literally because the six balances the eight, it's an optimal number in your birth number. Your conscious mind is uh, pretty free. And you actually think very idealistically and proper. So you're able to be just pragmatic, realistic, and not too cynical. For the people that don't have that and have the negative parts of this, just understand that you do naturally have good luck and that you just need to use that luck to enhance your life. Bring out a direction and use the eight energy to actually get it. Your natural element is what I'd call electricity for the eight. The eight is powered by electric objects. So anything to do with like computers, technology, Wi-Fi, internet money, you have good luck in that arena. While I was recommending things like accounting, the business administrative world. Um, but even if you want to do independent business like what I'm doing or doing like e-commerce, these are the things that are going to benefit you. The lucky metal for the birth number of 8 for 8, 17, and 26. I never brought this up in the other two videos for 17, 8. I'll bring it up now. Is anything to do with metal, iron, or steel? You want to use those things to actually attract more abundance. If you're really having a hard time with this birth number, leave something in the comments for me, but I'd recommend just for anybody that's having a problem with their birth number of 8, 17, or 26, get blue sapphire and wear it every day. I wear gems every day, but you want to wear blue sapphire. If you can wear the blue sapphire, it's going to be highly beneficial to your life. Once you have the sapphire on, make sure you get it on a Saturday specifically, and on the Saturday that you put the blue sapphire on, fast for the whole day and donate something to the homeless or to the nearest um, Goodwill. Do that and you'll have proper luck going forward. Aside from that, guys, that's all I'm going to say about the 26. If you have any questions for me at all, like I said, leave it in the comments. Aside from that, like, subscribe, holler at me back tomorrow for the 27.